I think I've ever had. Now, speaking of food, the average person gains a few pounds this time of year, right? Because of the holidays. Why not lose the weight ahead of time and then just maintain your weight? Personal trainer Candace McField is back with some core strengthening exercises that you can do anywhere. Good yes. to have you with us. Good morning, good morning. And you brought a guest with you. I did. This is Leela. Hi, Leela. How you doing? Hi. All right, let's get started. What are we going to do? All right, we're going to do... Um, core and stretching today. So the first exercise we have is a scissor kick. A so scissor it's, kick, yep, all right. It's gonna work the lower abdominals. So you see Leela places her hands behind her lower and back. why do you do that? I'm sorry? Why do you put your hands oh, behind Oh, to your back? support your lower back. So it takes the pressure off I the lower you, back. I got you. So this way, this exercise here is working your lower core. Huh. So she's just crossing her legs at the ankles. And you could do 10 to 12 reps, it'll be great. So the next exercise we have for you is a called an ab chopper. So she's gonna bend her knees here and then she's gonna come up and then twist to the side. And then go back down an and come up. An ab chopper. An ab chopper, twist now to the side. Now do you side. get help while you're doing this? So you, you can, so here's a modified version. I'll have her grab mm -hmm. my hands. So if you need a little bit help, twist. So she goes back down, she comes back up and twist to the side. So that small twist to the side there is working the obliques. I guess you shouldn't be afraid if you can't do all this at once. Some people may not be in good enough shape to do that. Right, and, and you may not be, so that's why we have the, the mm -hmm. modifications. Like if you have somebody at home you could do this with, like I said, you can have them, you can grab their hands and then help with that twist up. Just so like how that. many reps do you do? So like I, I would recommend 10 to 15 reps mm -hmm. is, a, is a good range to start off with. So the next exercise we have is just a stretch and we're going to do the lower back stretch so she's going to lay back down. Okay, so we'll do, um, so, this, so actually this stretch is called the glute stretch. The glute stretch. Yep, so you, you'll feel it here in the glute in the lower back and then what she's doing here is crossing the leg at the knee and then just turning towards the outside so that stretches the lower back. There you go. So this she stretches helps the lower back and the glute. Problems or? hip problems, lower back issues if you're tight. And then the other lower back area a lot of times is tight too. So here's another great stretch. She's gonna lay all the way down <clears throat> and then grab right at the knees. So if you have tightness in your lower back, this one is incredible because it's gonna take huh. that pressure right off your lower back and help release that. And then also if you, you know, just take slow breaths, it's a very relaxing exercise. And so if you worked out and then do um, a nice stretch like this, it's very relaxing. Sounds good. Thank you. If you have a question yep. for Candace, you can contact her at CandaceMcField.com. Lauren.